welcome to my Liverpool career mode. You guys went nuts on the last video. Your support on this series has been incredible. If you guys can smash over 20,000 likes in just two hours, I would do a transfer deadline day special in the next episode. As you can see though, we do have one hour left in this deadline day. I kind of screwed up in the last video though. As you can see, I wanted to get these four players. I began these negotiations though with just three hours left. So that was pretty stupid on my part. I'm going to play some big games with the team. I'll sim the lesser games and just play the big games that way way we can get to the transfer window really quickly come January time. A lot of you told me to do the training with different plays every time, so I do that every week as well. I may not show that though, but I will do the training. One hour left, transfer window, and yeah, we will not have signed these players, man, unless I somehow get a miracle right now. Yep, deadline day's ended, 165 million has been spent. Oh, we've got some monthly scouting update, let's go. What is it with Garner and just incredible potentials on players? We'll sign Busius, he looks like a really good player in the future. We've got an update from Brazil, and there are a few good players there. We've got this guy called Mar Marcio Souza, who's got 73 to 94 potential here from Brazil. Gonna sign him, see what happens there with him. With the international management office, guys, can I accept these and still manage Liverpool? Is that a thing? Gonna unnerve Man United, see if that works. And we've got a final scouting report on Ryan Gold. Four stars for judgment, 2.7 million value. I would definitely go for him, maybe in the next window. It's game time versus Man United. Gonna start with Griezmann up top, Coutinho, Tillemans, Keita, Sanchez. Let's go, man. Bring it on, Ibra. Antoine Griezmann is the new player in to the team today and the manager's worked hard to make this transfer happen. Yeah, the manager talking about the fact that his side lacked a little bit of pace going forward and they should have signed some here with this lad. Come on, Coutinho. Yes, 1-0. Come on, Coutinho. No. Ow. Come on, Griezmann. Yes, 2-1. Let's get the winner against United. Debut goal for Griezmann. Romane. Oh, this could be the super sub. Go left. Come on. Oh, the post. Oh, Green. Yes, what a lucky goal by Mane. The super sub, 3-1 away at Old Trafford. Hits the post, goes right back to him while he's on his knees, and it still goes in. There we go, guys, full time against United, 3-1. Huge win for Liverpool. Going to sim a few games, guys, and tell you the results after they're done. There you go, guys, 3-0 win against Norwich in the BPL, and Bowler with a goal, and also Kata got two goals. There you go, guys, we just beat Spurs in the Capital One Cup. I'm going to get through these games quickly to get onto the next transfer window. 4-1 win there guys against Aston Villa, Firmino, Masuaku, Griezmann all scored the goals. Yes, I just got my first manager of the month award. I'm going to sim the derby, you know it's a massive game. I want to get on to the next transfer winner though as quickly as possible with me messing up in the last one. There you go, full time, we win again in the BPL against Everton. One all draw there guys, tough game against Tottenham, Dembele got the equaliser and Griezmann scored for me. Damn, we lost there guys in the cup there against West Ham. They go through, we have been knocked out. Hey guys, I'm actually going to sim until the first of January. I want to get there now and I feel like we need to. Got Chelsea's come up next and we've got Stamps and they've got Man City as well. But yeah, let's sim to the first of January. Hopefully we get some wins. So we drew 0-0 against Chelsea which is not the worst result. Still top of the league. We did lose 2-1 though to the Saints which is not the best result considering their team has been really depleted. In terms of other games that we won, no, drew to one all against Crystal Palace. We beat Man City 2-1 which is a great result. We beat Swansea 4-1 at home. We won 2-1 away at Newcastle. Won 1-0 one at home to West Brom, drew 0-0 at Watford, which is not a great result in terms of um, that game. Boss 1-0 to Leicester and drew one all away to Sunderland. Again, bit of a mixed bag there in terms of the results, but I'll take that in terms of simming the matches. January 1st though, guys, you know what that means. That means the transfer window is now back open. We are still top of the league there with 39 points. One point ahead though of Man United and Arsenal three points behind as well. Very close league this season. We're not doing too bad though. One eleven, drawn six, lost two. 36 goals for, which is awesome, and 16 goals against. My scouts found all he can in Portugal, and a lot of you guys said to me that Matt need to actually go and put the scout where they're from. So Norway is the one I'm going to go with here for this guy, as he is actually from Norway. And yeah, let's put him there. First thing I'm going to do, guys, is offer Matip a new contract. He's been a very good player for us. And yeah, I'll see what happens here with this 5% clean sheet bonus. I'll give him, I'll go for 90. And yeah, we'll see what he does. We keep getting management offers here, guys. I'm going to reject them for now. You need to let me know, though, what should I do with these in the future? Should I accept any? What should I do? We've had our first transfer off here, guys, from Real Madrid for Coutinho. Again, I'm going to reject it. I'm not even going to count it. I want to keep him. I know he can be worth so much more, even double what they've offered there in the future. So, yeah, I'm going to reject it, guys. For Coutinho, 
Sign it off. Right, Lick and sell some big players. First things first, let's put him on the transfer list there, Benteke. He's too expensive to be in my team. I don't need him. He won't play. Mbolo for me is a lot better player. Milner, I'm actually going to add to the transfer list as well. So this is my current squad. Don told me to get Jesse Rodriguez. He's a brilliant up-and-coming young player who I could sign. And to be honest, guys, I do really want a quality left midfielder. Not sure if they'll take this offer. I'm going to try and loan Jesse Rodriguez. We're pretty set on midfielders. It's wingers. I desperately need more. Also, I definitely need a new left back who can be a backup to Masuku. So you know what? Discaglio from AC Milan can play left or right. So I really do like the idea of going to buy him. I'm going to offer them about 8 million for him. You know what? I'll offer them 7 and hopefully they'll go for this. Also going to go for Gulan from Napoli. He could be a good player to buy. Kula Bali is a player I would desperately love to buy. He's got a lot of potential. Very strong and very good player right now. High rating for him. 6 foot 5 is a beast on this game. Maybe 11. And then maybe they'll agree to that. I'm not so sure on that one. Usman Dembele is a guy I've been tracking all season long. Going to offer them 8.3. I don't want to offer them a low bid. I know that sounds strange. But I think they'll accept this one. Now to the main man of this video. Marco Royce guys. 32 million for him. I'm actually going to give them an interesting offer. I'm going to offer them Christian Benteke. I do not need him and that could mean I could get Royce for anything less than maybe even 20 million. Let's see what happens here. 19 million pounds plus Benteke will they bite on this transfer offer. I don't think we need more midfielders. We've got so many. We've got Bazoa, Tillemans. We've also got Sanchez. Obviously, Coutinho is still there and so many more already. So to be honest, guys, I'm actually going to try and buy this guy, Felipe Anderson, I think he's got, is it five star skills? I think he's got four or five star skills. I know he's got amazing talent on Ultimate Team. I also know he's ridiculously good in this mode. So I'm going to try and get him for my career mode. Going to offer them 13 million. Will they accept? Okay, we're going for Jesse Rodriguez, Felipe Anderson there from Lazio. Also going to try and get Dembele, Marco Royce. We've also got the chance of getting Gula on the left back to Skiglio and then Koulibaly. That's seven. Let's see what happens here in the next day. Let's add him to the loan list for one year. Hopefully that'll improve him a lot and he'll get his morale back to normal. Another player I want to send out alone. He's not getting a game right now, but will be great for our future. Has to be Bergwin. This guy's got talent, man. I need to get him on loan, though. Mustafi was a guy who got away from us in the last episode, so I'm going to try and go for him again. Clavin is a guy, again, I just probably won't use. He's 7-7 seven, seven overall. He's got quite a decent value, but I just want to get rid of any players that I just won't use. Let's offer him 17 million plus Clavin for Mustafi. Let's see what happens. Can we try and sign Lucas as well from PSG? Offer them 16 million for Lucas. I reckon this could be quite a cheeky offer, but let's see. Two all their guys against West Brom in the FA Cup. Uh, yeah, pretty interesting game. Coutinho got the goal, as did Griezmann, but McLean equalized in the last seconds. Have we got any transfer offers? We've got two rejections here. So, yeah, we've got Stad Rene, who just said Dembele um, doesn't want to move yet. So, okay, he, he will not move. If we increase the cash offer there to 49, they'd probably be willing to go with it. They are interested in Benteke, so that's positive. 49 million, though, is slightly insane for that. I'll offer them 39 plus Benteke. Will they accept this one? Not too sure if they will. Let's see what happens, though. Oh, Milan have accepted. Accepted. Napoli rejected the Gulam offer. They won 12 million. That's way too much. I don't need him now, though, as De Skiglio was accepted for 7 million. And he's a better player. Plus, he's more versatile. Gulabali, 21 million price tag there for him. I could potentially do them a deal with Milner. Okay, Real Madrid do not want to loan Hesse out either. We'll try, and, we'll try and buy him in a few seconds. Okay, let's accept this one now. This is the first transfer of the day. Can we get him to accept this contract? 9 million value there for Milner. And to be honest, I'll offer them 14 plus Milner. That should hopefully let this one go through. Let's see what happens here. Here we go, guys. Lazio have rejected this. But to be honest, that, that price tag there for 19.5 isn't too bad. If Royce does not go through, we may go for him. How about that? PSG have rejected the transfer offer, but they have received one from another club. Gonna increase this to 19.8 for Lucas. Maybe they'll accept this. Not too sure yet. I could do with no more info though about him. Mustafi is a player I may just try and sign for about 20 million. See if they go for that. 21 million for Mustafi. I like that offer. I feel like in today's market that's actually not too bad an offer. Ah, there you go. Yeah, PSG have received an offer of 18 million pounds there for Lucas from Real Madrid to 19 million. That was actually quite a lucky guess. Gonna offer them 16.5 for Philippe Anderson. See if he'll go for that. Oh, damn! Okay. Okay, I didn't expect that. I did not expect that. Okay, we could have signed Marco Royce for 39 million plus Benteke in today's market. That would probably be a bargain. We have our offers though for Benteke of 13 million, and we've also had one there for 36 million for Coutinho. I'm not going to accept that for Coutinho. Reject that one right now. 
yeah, we, we can't accept that, man. We've got to reject that. And that would scupper the Royce deal, so I'm going to reject that one. Yeah, guys, we're going to sign Marco Royce. Gonna meet his demands there, guys, with three years for Royce, 180k a week, which is just a ridiculous amount of money there. Uh, crucial first team play. I have given them bonus there, 15%. I'm not sure if that's wise, um, but I want to get Royce. I'm going for it, guys. We're going to try and get Marco Royce now into the club. Here you go, guys. Full time against West Ham in the BPL. They're two all. Coutinho and Griezmann with my goals. Given that, hopefully he'll accept. I'll offer them 17 million by itself for him. That could be a bit too less, but let's see what happens here with Koulibaly. Will Royce accept, guys? Will he be joining Liverpool? Let's see. We've got Lazio. Oh, okay. We've got three acceptances here for contracts. Transfer offer accepted for Lucas. And also, for Felipe Anderson. Okay, this is big. Okay, Musafi, they want 32 million for him now. That is way too much. He was 21 million, like, not even, what, a day ago. Okay, Matip has renewed. We're going to try and sign Lucas here with this new contract. Going to put this one on hold for now. Let's see if we can actually get Royce properly. Wendy says to get Herving Lozano. So, going to go off Wendy's comment here, see if we can get him for a pretty decent loan. I like to get him on loan, see how good this guy is. He can play left wing, he can play striker, he can play CF or Cam. Very, very versatile player for sure. Royce has declined the offer. I'll offer him 200k, 15% bonus per goal. That is an offer he just has to accept. Okay, Napoli have accepted the offer there for Koulibaly. That's really promising there. 17 million. Probably one of my best buys, I reckon, so far. Lucas has accepted the offer, guys. Let's get him in Liverpool right now. Let's bring him to LFC. Pachucha have rejected the loan offer there for Lozano. So I may still try to get him if you guys want me to. Damn, guys. We just lost 2-0 against West Brom in the FA Cup. Crap. Okay, Royce has declined the offer because he's a top player in his current club but doesn't feel this move suits him. So, guys, what do I do here with Marco Royce? They've accepted the bid. Do I offer even more? They want 180k at least. But guys, I need your help for this for the next career mode episode. What should I do with Marco Royce? I've offered them now 210. Gonna sign that off. See if he accepts that offer there. But this is where you will come in though. Comment below. What should I do with Marco Royce? Let's accept this Kegelo. Get him in the club now. Here's another new signing. Okay, Koulibaly could be persuaded. Who should I sign for the next career mode video? Hope you guys are loving the Liverpool career mode. Smash the like button below if you want to see a career mode in FIFA 17. This is our current squad. We've got Karius, Klein, Sewell, the new player. Really well, new player. Lucas, Bozoa, Tillymans, Kate has been playing really well. Well, they were playing well, but I need to get them back up playing with some good form. Bernardo Sanchez there. You got Mbola really talented squad here and I need to be utilizing as much players as I can. I think this guy could be superb for our club. Yeah, hope you guys loved it and let's go into the next video.